It's one of the busiest times of the year for ISU's Holt Arena. Thousands will make their way through its doors this month, and a big reason for that is the annual Spring Fair. The Spring Fair is going on right now. Phil Campbell tells us what you can expect this year. Well, you can expect the biggest fair of its kind. If you take a look around, you can see just how popular this fair has become. I'm joined now by Bob Bloxham, who puts this fair on every year. Bob, give us a little history on this spring fair. Well, we've been doing it since 1990, so I guess that makes this our 22nd year, and it's been a huge success and a really a good economic boom for all of southeast Idaho. I imagine you rely heavily on uh, repeat customers, repeat uh, attendees, I guess you'd say. Uh, why do they keep coming back? Well, they keep coming back, our vendors, because they do so well up here. It's a very inexpensive way to market their business. We probably have close to 70% return and then 30% turnover new people every year. Let's talk about this year's fair. What can people expect uh, going into this year? Well, besides all the home and garden ideas, we've got uh, lots of... Uh, landscaping, uh, hot tubs, RVs, uh, all the gadgets and gasmos. Gasmos, sorry. And of course, uh, the food. Like any good fair, you have plenty of food. We've got a great food court area. People will come up here and have lunch and then come back for d dinner. It's so good. Plus, there's a great variety. We don't let anybody sell the same thing, so it really is a great food court. Well, thank you so much. Uh, speaking of food, I think I just saw a corn dog with my name on it. I'm going to go check that out. Reporting from ISU Tolt Arena, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. Now the spring fair runs until 9 o'clock tonight, and then tomorrow we'll take a look, a closer look at some of the food options that are available this year. The three-day event ends on a Saturday night.